All right, we are back with another modern deck tech, and uh, this is kind of the modern deck tech right now. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is uh, Scam. Yeah, Rakdos Scam, the boogeyman. We'll start from uh, the creatures. So we've got the three Ragavan. Uh, not always a good contender in modern because of the one of the other cards we're going to showcase, yeah. but uh, still as a 2-1, if it's not immediately answered, just has so much value, so mm. uh, still worth playing. And then for the two drops, we have four Orcr Orcish Bowmasters, the uh, draw card <laughs> punish, and uh, deal one damage to things, which is why... And the thing one, that keeps monkeys one, in check. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. The reason one toughness creatures are not showcased in modern so much at the moment uh, <laughs> is just, yeah, as a 1-1 one -one that creates another 1-1 one -one and, of course, pings something for one damage. And then, of course, if, you know, your opponent wants to do such things as draw extra cards, uh, mm -hmm. very heavily punishes them for it. Yeah. So, all around good card. And then we have uh, four Dothy Voidwalker. This is a 3-2 that has shadow, so it's basically unblockable except to itself in the modern format. And uh, also exiles any non-land permanent that would be put in. Anything. Anything. Yeah. So even lands. And then can, of course, ta sacrifice itself to cast something without paying its mana cost yeah. of, that was discarded. And then, uh, of course, we've got the two Kroxa, Titan of Despair. That's hunger. That's hunger. I was gonna, I'm like, <laughs> that's despair, I'm like despair's hunger doesn't make sense. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's a 6-6 six, six that when it enters, you have to sacrifice it if it didn't escape. But there are, you know, ways to... Uh, fool around with that and then when it enters they each opponent has to discard a card and then each opponent that didn't discard a non-land loses three life yes so uh you know if they don't have any cards left or if they discarded a land three damage mm -hmm. is three damage you can also escape for red red black black exiling five other cards yes which isn't too heavy of your cost because there's you know a lot of cards to go in the graveyard throughout yeah. a game and then uh we have four grief this one, of course, Oof. when it enters, <laughs> uh, gets to choose a non-land card from an opponent's hand and makes them discard it, and you can evoke it by exiling a black card. And then we have Fury, which very similar. This one deals four damage divided as you choose among uh, creatures and planeswalkers, and uh, is a double striker with three three. Yep, three three double striker, and grief is a three two menace. And then, of course, having to exile red for Fury instead. Mm -hmm. And uh, the cards that make this really broken are, of course, Not Dead After All and Undying Malice, which do more or less the same thing, which mm -hmm. is uh, until end of turn, target creature, if it would die, uh, it comes back with a with either a plus one, plus one counter or a enchantment that gives it plus one, plus one that also loses a life when it goes to the graveyard. Yeah. So of all the, there's a lot of these sorts of effects, but uh, this one, the newest one, is by far the best. Um, you can stack multiples of those. It doesn't give a plus one, plus one counter, so you can even run the one that gives Undying. The, yeah, the Undying one yeah. instead, so but, you can uh, kind of yeah. chain them, but yes. Like, turn one, you can grief, exile your card, not dead after all. Mm -hmm. You know, get rid of two cards and have a 4-3 with Menace on the field on yep. turn one. And get rid of two of your opponent's best cards. Yes, and get rid of two of their best cards. Yeah. Uh, it doesn't interact with Crocs as well because it's not an escape. Hmm. So, it. but, I mean, you can make them discard two cards still that way. Yeah. So there is some value there, and then Fury, of course, would wipe the field if you have any of these, because yeah. it damages a lot to spread <laughs> yes, around creatures. Sure is. And uh, having a 4-4 double strike for yes. effectively free, just trying for, to get a bunch of for cards. For effectively one mana. Yeah, is, uh, pretty, or one mana, I guess. Yeah. That, that also cleared the board is mm -hmm. ridiculous. Yeah, it's insane. And, uh, of course, we did we did skip over these just to explain the combo, but we do have two Season Pyromancer. It's a little fun of. You sometimes run the Kiki Jiki, the Mirror Breaker. And, yeah, the uh, Fable the, of the Mirror Breaker. The Saga. Yeah. But we did not have that card, so there's a few just extra additions, and this is one of them. Because it does a similar thing, which uh, when he enters, you discard two cards, and then for each non-land card, you get a 1-1, one -one, and then draws two cards. So mm -hmm. it does help you filter through when you have uh, excess of certain things, or you're trying to dig for these. Mm -hmm. 
And he does have a small effect where once he's in the graveyard, you can pay five to get two more two one ones again. But yeah, he's just he's decent. He, yeah, decent enough. Provides the body, helps you filter through cards that you don't need. Like if you draw thought seizes later into the game, mm. or just don't need the removal because you just furied. Yeah, uh, he does have the options to help you dig through things. Yeah. Uh, and then for other spells, we have, of course, the four Thought Seas, because, I mean, you may as well just, like, <laughs> grief turn one Thought Seas, yeah. take the third best card. <laughs> just take all of their spells. <laughs> take all their hopes and dreams, you know? Yeah. And uh, three Fatal, for removal, we have the three Fatal Pushes. Uh, it's basically most things in the modern format at the moment. Mm-hmm. Always did, because, I mean, the lower spells, the better. It does kind of miss things like Fury, but... yeah. Um, what's kind of fun is if you grief on turn one and have it come back, or even just not come back, just evoke it, uh, free revolt trigger. Yes, that, so. uh, yeah, that is true. And, I mean, a lot of things, like Orchestra Bowmasters, yeah. are already two or less, so there's not too many fours that you need to work mm-hmm. up to hit. But You could dash out a Ragavan, return it to your hand, and then Fatal Push on that I step. Mean, yeah. <laughs> it is an option. Yeah. And, of course, just Fetch Lance is the main mm-hmm. main combo with it. Yeah. Uh, and then two Terminate, because uh, this just is the catch-all inclusion. Yeah. <laughs> Anything Fatal Push can't hit, Terminate can get rid of. Mm-hmm. And then we have uh, the extra one of of Colgan's command. This one lets you return a card from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, dis- make an opponent discard a card, which, I mean, can just get rid of their last card if it mm-hmm. happens to be that land that maybe they need to do something else. Mm-hmm. And then can also just deal two damage to target creature player, so also a little bit of removal. Oh, and kill an artifact, but the main yeah. artifact in the format is indestructible, so yeah. <laughs> it's not going to be too useful mm-hmm. there. Yeah, people are playing some really weird, like, Masked Vandal, I think, there's, is a card. It's yeah, like a... you have to play anything that exiles yeah. an artifact. Mm-hmm. I mean, strange. of course, Orcish, Orcish Bowmasters really makes them regret their ring, but... Yeah. <laughs> when you're drawing that many cards, they'll find the answer to it, so... Mm-hmm. Well, right. But uh, being able to return certain things, like... A Voidwalker, if you really Oof, wanted yeah. to cast two of those mm-hmm. spells that you exiled, uh, it does have yeah. some utility. Oh, uh, that was that was the other thing I was going to mention earlier. So uh, Voidwalker also is really fun with these cards because you can sack it, or sorry, you could play one of these cards on your Voidwalker and then sack it, get whatever's exiled with a Void counter, and then, and then it, comes it comes back, back bigger immediately. And Shadow. Yeah. yeah so. <laughs> uh, so that's that's pretty fun, too. It's, yeah, just a ton of utility in this uh, deck. Mm-hmm. I always did love these, but yeah, them printing yeah. these has made an obnoxious it. format. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then for lands... We are a two-color deck, so we can play things like Dragon Skill Summit, which just enters untapped as long as we control a mountain or a swamp. And then, oh look, we have four copies of a swamp mountain. Yeah. <laughs> Problem solved for that. Mm-hmm. Uh, three copies of Blackleaf Cliffs, just because this does kind of interact with that poorly. Yeah, and this deck's pretty fast. Yes, so... Uh, sometimes you need the fourth mana, so that is annoying, but for the most part you're playing early turns and coming in untapped for both colors is great. Yeah. Uh, then we have four Blood Mire because, I mean, with a black red and four Marsh Flats because we're more black heavy, so having Makes a black f- fetch line made sense and uh, that's also how the basics work because we have three basic swamps mm-hmm. and we also have a Castle Lock thing because, I mean, card draw is card draw. Yeah. It's nice to have a little extra utility. And also coming in untapped as long as we control a swamp, which is mm-hmm. most of our land base. So Yeah. yeah. Um, also, it's good to have something like that in here because uh, while this is really busted to do, it actually does cost you a lot of cards. Yes, there are, like, this does kind of make up for the evoke mm-hmm. nonsense of exiling the thing, yeah. but you still are putting those in the thing. Mm-hmm. Like and, it, it ends up being like a three for two with yes. grief, say. Yeah, like the math, the math three, gets confusing because yeah. you're yeah you're down three cards, but you have a four three on the field and yeah. you took two cards. So it's... and the two cards you took are probably their best, whereas yeah. the cards you're losing are probably your worst. Yes. So yeah. All right, so that is the boogeyman racked out scam, and uh, yeah, we'll see <laughs> see you next week. Bye. You didn't have anything else to say, right? No, not really. Yeah.